The last time Tech Ticker spoke with Jim Rogers, he had just sold his New York townhouse for a record $16 million and was about to move his family to Singapore. We caught up with Rogers on a recent trip to New York and asked him his thoughts on the state of the U.S. economy and how he's feeling about Asia after the crisis. Uh, I love being back in New York. I'm very keen on New York and the U.S., as you can well imagine. I am a little surprised. that I thought things would be worse in New York, and my friends keep telling me how bad things are. But the economy is recovering, or has been recovering for a while. So it's, it's great to be back. It's good to see that the economy is better than I thought it was. And I presume it's going to be better for a while. But let's worry about 2010, 2011. <laughs> right. So from your vantage point in Singapore, having now living there, are you more or less bullish on China than you were when you first moved there? No, no, I'm very keen on Asia. I mean, the, the major creditor nations in the world are all in Asia now. The largest creditors in the world are China, Japan, Korea, Taiwan, Hong Kong, Singapore. That's where the assets are, whether we like it or not. And the largest debtor nations in the world are the U.S., the U.K., UK I right. mean, you know, where the, where the debts are. And so Asia is doing a lot better. I presume they will continue to do that. Right. Now, you've been very critical of the United States for all the stimulus spending we've done here. The Chinese government also has done massive stimulus spending, larger in a percentage of GDP than the U.S. For lack of a better term, are you okay with that? Was that the right thing for them to no, do? No, I'm not in favor of stimulus spending anywhere. But in China's case, they, they saved up a lot of money for a rainy day. It started raining, and so they started spending it. In the U.S., we didn't have any money saved for a rainy day. You know, we just had to borrow it or print it or whatever to spend. And, and unfortunately, if you look at how we are spending it, we, the U.S., I mean, it's mainly being spent on make-work projects. The Chinese, at least, are spending their money on future productivity and future competitiveness. So if the Chinese have the money saved up, and they seem to be spending it wiser than we are. So, but listen, I'm not, I don't approve of the Chinese or us or anybody else. This is not good for the world, right. but politicians, that's why I'm not a politician. <laughs> Not diplomatic enough, yes. Uh, there are also concerns about China's banking system, that the fact that the government essentially forces the banks to make loans. The bears would say that there's a, you know, a credit bubble brewing in China as well. Do you think there's any truth to that? If you're worried about a banking system, may I suggest you look at the United States of America? May I suggest you look at the UK? Yes, I mean, the Chinese banking system probably has lots of bad loans. But remember, China's not nearly as banked, if you will, as America. I mean, most Chinese don't have a bank account. It's still a developing country, as you know. I'm much more worried about the banking system here and in, in the UK and in, and, in, and in Europe than I am in China. It does not mean there are not going to be huge problems in the banking system in, in China because, yes, I'm sure they're making lots of bad loans. Everybody does. But remember, when America rose to power and glory, we had some horrible problems along the way. Bankruptcy, bear markets, huge problems. Corruption, of course. Corruption, yeah. No human rights. Civil war. I mean, China's going to have lots of problems too. Don't think I'm that foolish. No, everybody who rises to power and glory has huge problems, and China's going to have them too. Don't worry. Right. Well, you said in another segment you're very concerned about the U.S. economy. Do you think that China's economy can continue to grow if the U.S. struggles again? We saw the decoupling theory debunked a bit in 2008. Look, America's the largest economy in the world. It's the largest in Europe. Europe and America. If Europe and America are having problems, everybody's going to be affected. If you sell for Walmart in China, you know there's a problem. Some parts of the Chinese economy are going to continue to do well no matter what happens. But listen, we can't, we can't get away from the fact that America and China, but America and Europe are ten times the size of the Chinese economy. China can't save, they're trying to save 